What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're going to be covering the topic of some advanced trees in Revit. So trees in Revit were one of those topics that was always annoying to me just because they look so bad and I just tried to figure out a way to improve the trees in Revit. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Also, if you want to get access to this tree file that I'm going to be creating in this Revit project, also I'm going to be including some more useful tree families. Check out my Patreon. All of my Revit project files can be found there. I have over 300 files so far. Also, I've got 16 uh, advanced Revit courses so far and I'm creating new ones each week. They're all over one hour long. So that's something exciting that you could check out first link in the description. Okay, now let's go to the tree family. So when you go to Revit and you place a basic site component, it looks like this. So usually in your floor plan, it's always going to look like this. Now, if you choose a different tree, let's go maybe with something smaller, you're going to notice that the, well, the actual pattern is the same. It just changes the scale for each tree. And that's really annoying because it's basically one circle with a few lines going through it and that's the, the representation of a tree no matter which tree you choose. Also if you go into 3D it looks like this. Now it's a bit better over here but still you have this basically this ugly kind of a cross section of two uh, two photographs. So this is basically designed to work when you go into realistic and then you have to uh, like have transparent images and then it looks like a tree. But the thing is if you go like this and if you want to render maybe like a floor plan it's going to look really silly. It's not going to look realistic. It should be round and it's not. So if you want to use your trees for maybe making some uh, some renderings especially some floor plan renderings using these trees it's going to be quite uh, quite useless. Also the shadows are way off so if I go over here and maybe create a floor around this tree kind of like this turn on shading and if I were to render this let's go into ray trace for example just to show you there you go. As you can see, the shadows are completely silly. So let me just close the uh, the ray trace and now let's play around with our own uh, Revit tree family. So for that family, I'm just going to move Revit out of the way. And here, as you can see, I've got a uh, Revit family already downloaded. So if I open that up, it looks like this. So this is a family that I found uh, just online and it's a 3D Revit family. And as you can see, it's imported geometry. I'm guessing it's either a SketchUp or 3ds Max or some software like that but it's decent enough it looks good now it doesn't really look that realistic but don't worry when rendered this tree will look way more realistic than this silly ugly thing okay so let's go back over here and now when uh, working with this tree there is a significant problem the first thing is when you go to floor plan it's going to look like this now there is way too many lines as you can see over here it's going to slow down your model quite significantly just because there is so much geometry going on over here. I really prefer the old school AutoCAD trees that were quite simple. They were closer to something like this, but still they looked a lot better. So how do we replicate that old school AutoCAD tree with this thing? Well, that's by using detail components. So go here into your floor plan and we just need to mask this tree for now. So just go here to annotate you have your masking region tool, you select that and you just go with a simple circle, you go to the center of this thing and let's maybe use the arrow keys to maybe position it a bit better. Maybe it should be a bit bigger. Okay, I'm not used to working in feet and inches, so this is really different. Okay, I think I'm covering the whole tree. Yes, I am. So if I hit finish, there you go. Now it's just a simple circle. Okay, here we have a bit popping out. 
okay now it looks better but still we don't really have any tree representation so far so what I'm going to be doing next is move Revit out of the way and here I have some AutoCAD trees yeah do you remember like a bit of nostalgia you know those big like CAD uh, CAD block uh, files wait let's, let's just wait for a second for this thing to open up so as you can see yeah it's one of those files where you have just a million AutoCAD blocks and of course here we have trees so here I'm just going to zoom in and let's say I like some of these trees so let's see what's nice over here well these look nice maybe this one I really like this one or even this one because it has that circle so what you need to do with these uh, trees is you just need to select it select one of the files go control C to copy then oops you go here you create a new tab you go control V to paste it in here it is and then you just select the whole tree file or the whole tree line work go into move command M enter don't mess it up in uh, Revit it's MV and here it's just M and place it in the center of your coordinate system. Alternatively, you could have uh, selected your coordinate system and just moved it towards the tree. But anyway, so we have our just one uh, floor plan tree plan file and you just need to go here and save it. And I'm just going to save it here on my desktop. Let's just save it as drawing one. Nobody really cares. One thing that you should uh, take care of is the units. So just go here and let's just measure from here to here. And it's 624. Now I'm guessing that's centimeters. So that's six meters. So that's a good representation of our tree. We have a big tree there. So let me just minimize this uh, CAD file or we can even like turn it off yeah let's save yeah we don't need to save changes on this one okay go back into Revit and now just go here to insert import CAD and let's go to our desktop and find that drawing one and here for import units make sure you check the uh, centimeter uh, units just because these trees are not really you uh, just basic geometry they're not floor plans so Revit is going to have a hard time of figuring out the units so we can help Revit out by using here centimeters hit open and it should be somewhere over here okay it's not this thing it's placed in the center so you can't see it here we go drawing one we just need to unpin it and then let's move it out of the way. Now this being model geometry, it's not going to be visible underneath the masking region. So in order to see this thing, what you need to do is you need to add some lines over this. So to do that, it, you can just go here to manage or annotate, sorry, go into symbolic lines, go with pick lines, and then just pick all of these lines. So yeah, the downside is you, you do have to go over each line so it is going to take a bit of time but I guess it's not too much work just because we don't really have that many uh, that many lines so you just and don't worry if you maybe do some overlapping it's not going to matter I mean it's uh, really simple so and you don't have to lock it here I'm kind of accidentally locking it in place but it's not really necessary for this so you just go all the way around and you check everything. Now I'm going to speed forward just because you don't have to look at me just <laughs> picking all of the lines. Now that I have gone over all of the line work, I'm just going to go like this to select uh, both the, uh, the CAD file as well as one of these lines. So I'm just going to hold the shift key and deselect one of the lines so I can move the CAD file out of the way. Now, these were kind of constrained, so I should probably unconstrain them. Yeah, it kind of messed those up a bit. So yeah, just make sure you don't constrain any of these lines. That's that's like a, a, a tip. <laughs> okay. So I messed up a bit over here. Yeah, I guess I can delete these two lines. And these two as well. Okay, also I messed up by using the uh, hidden line, so I'm just going to select all of these and switch them from hidden line to planting, so they're just regular lines now. Okay, here, yeah, we should probably connect this in some way, so 
let's go here to annotate symbolic lines and yeah instead of hidden lines use planting lines and maybe go like this I don't know as you can see you can pretty much do this on your own I just prefer using these Revit files uh, these CAD files because it's a bit simpler uh, also yeah I guess this looks all right now you can delete the CAD file you don't really need it anymore so just select all of the line work go with the move command and move it somewhere over here now you can play around just using the arrow keys a little bit to center it you can scale it in place I actually prefer the look where it has just a little bit of extra uh, space and then you can of course always select everything and then let's go like this yeah, just move it around a little bit to fit it inside of the circle. But I'm really happy with the way this looks. And let's move the tree just a little bit so it's invisible. Okay, there you go. So we've got our uh, floor plan representation. And now if I just go here, load into project. And I can place it over here. And it's going to be visible with the whole tree at first, but once you click, it's going to be there. And as you can see, it looks a lot better in the floor plan. It looks a lot more interesting. It's not that boring, just a couple of lines. And that's uh, that's a really nice improvement. But the biggest improvement is if we go into 3D, let me just delete this tree, maybe place this uh, besides that tree. Go into 3D and there we go. This is what that looks like. So. Maybe like this uh, until we have the uh, like the uh, until we render it. This might look a bit better than this one just because it's using images. But as soon as you go in and render, so let's just turn this to ray trace and take a look. There we go. Now you can see how better this thing will look. So it's going to have a much better representation of all of the leaves. Everything is in 3D. Everything looks realistic. The shadow is just perfect compared to this thing it's just it's not comparable it's so good so just test it out and try using these 3d trees they look way way better and just keep in mind that they will cost you a, a bit of rendering time just because it takes uh, a bit longer to render a 3d tree instead of this like just an image but it will look much better and even if it's just in shaded view or hidden line view I actually prefer the look of uh, this tree than the, the regular like Revit, the, the Revit tree that comes with the software and the shadows as again as I said are just perfect with this tree and with this they're just it's uh, with this with a 3d tree and with a regular one it's just silly it doesn't look good at all Okay, so that covers this topic of trees. Again, as I said, if you want to download this tree Revit file or uh, some of the other fi tree files that I'm going to be including with this uh, Patreon post for this tutorial, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Also there you can get access to some of my advanced courses that I'm doing each week. Okay, so that concludes this week's or this uh, today's uh, Revit tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Have a nice day.